Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 488. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and well, we got some news for you this week. And by some, I mean we have a bunch. Uh, this is just like the old days. Uh, <laughs> this is really awesome. So let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. First news is Hasbro pulls out of New York Toy Fair 2022. Uh, the New York Post is reporting that Hasbro, along with a host of other toy makers and buyers, will be skipping out on this year's Toy Fair event, uh, citing Omicron fears as uh, the cause. Last year, Toy Fair was completely cancelled due to the original virus, but Hasbro still went ahead and did uh, and did online events to balance it out. We can probably expect them to do that route again, though nothing has been announced yet. We will keep you all posted if they drop something. So, uh, <laughs> uh, what they mentioned here is kind of true uh, with the lingering fear of a pandemic, with uh, this going on, um, getting their, what you call this, uh, workers, uh, sorry, Risking the workers just to be there and do a toy event is not worth it. Plus, the online thing seems to be working for them. And uh, how do I put this? Um, this is similar to what Nintendo did way back in the days. When they did their own uh, Nintendo stream. I forgot what it's called. They have their own thing. But uh, way back in the days, um, they pulled out of E3 um, with their big event instead of cancelling all uh, all right they did their own event uh they didn't, what was it uh, forgot but uh yeah nintendo had their own thing and th it seems to be working for them and uh with this one it seems that yeah uh, the only the only negative part for hasbro here is that uh nobody can buy stuff at their booth like i do remember that they kind of sell exclusive there, like certain exclusive items that are available at certain events. Like, I'm not 100% sure if people can buy exclusive at the booth or not, but um, if they do, it's one of those things that they miss out. But they still can do things online. This, it's not that bad. So, this is eh, a pretty eh news. Nothing to how that word is. Um, it's just okay. It's just okay. So let's move on to the next one. Ah, yes. <clears throat> Equestria Daily turns eleven years old today, and today is um January seventeen. Yay! Awesome news. Awesome news. <clears throat> so let's read what Seth has to say. Uh, it happened again. Another year is already over. Why does time go by so quick? 11 years ago, I got banned on another site for posting ponies, so I made my own. It may or may not have been entirely designed around the idea of getting more tricksy in the show, which we were very successful at, but it turns into something else entirely. Once things got going, a certain place to help the average cartoon horse fan digest the mountain of stuff going on across the pony internet we may have failed at our second goal of bad pony episodes but at least a ton of you made bad things instead right also kirins many thanks to all of the amazing people that have come and supported us over the years for the average lurker just mining us for pony news to the Submitters sending everything interesting they find on the internet to our submit box. To the people that donate to the EQD Patreon that I old, uh, <clears throat> that I only ever plug once a year out for some weird pride thing to keep this place running. Uh, it is an honor to serve you all. We may be a little light on things to post with G4, over and G5 still not ready in full swing until later in the year. But hopefully we can keep everyone's day brighter anyways with 
as much pony as we possibly can. Speaking of uh, sorry, <coughs> speaking pony, I need to get back to scouring the internet for more stuff to share with auto attacking robots on my second monitor on ancient video game. Oh my god, Seth. So yeah, oh, man, c congratulations on hitting 11 years old. Um, e yeah, EQD is big. Um, it's big in the fandom. Like it helped this show kind of move on. Like Android, I'm kind of set its place. I, I know that um, the NBS show is kind of a news outlet. Like not really news, but it's kind of regurgitating what EQD does by me reading the news and just giving my opinions and stuff. But you know, honestly. EQD is great. It's they're awesome. Uh, the people who run it are awesome too. And I got to talk to a few of them, and they are all amazing. Like the dedication that these guys have, and even when G Force over and like Seth, like like Seth said, um, G Force over and G Five has nothing poured out yet besides that one movie. And yeah, they're still keep they're still going. They're still putting out news. They're still producing content, and that's admirable. Hats off to you guys. Anyway, uh, let's move on to the next news. Next news is <clears throat> full set of Winter Team Main Six plush listed on AliExpress. <clears throat> uh, this may have fallen through the cracks and might just be knockoffs, but some in the uh, Industries, co industries company over in China have created a full set of Winter Team Main 6 plush, each with um, each with scarves, socks, hat, and other things you expect to see out of ponies enjoying the snow. They are 36 centimeters tall and go for a round 750 a pop, though it looks like half of there are Currently out of stock. Uh, go there, link, blah blah blah. Yeah, I, mm, uh, I've seen this before, and um, the thing is that, um, <clears throat> way back in the days, uh, over here in Malaysia, we had a crane machine, uh, one of those crane machines, and they had ponies, and also um, you can buy them outright. Um, one one of the few things I noticed here that. Uh, if you go check out their listings on AliExpress, okay, <laughs> for me it would be thirty-two ringgit and four cents. But yes, um, let's go to their. Uh, no, thank you. Let's visit their store and take a look. See at what they have in terms of uh, plush. Like they have a whole bunch of plush available and whatnot, and their qualities are. Very. Um, I do have this chrysalis, yes. Um, it's a bit dusty, but yeah, um, I do have her. I bought her from a... Come on, Chrissy, get, get in frame. Um, I, I bought uh, her from a friend, and yeah, um... <laughs> She she is not cooperating well with the camera. Oh, oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay yeah. And in my honest opinion, it's serviceable. It ain't like the 4DE or um other plush that are out there. Um basically these are knockoffs and for knockoffs they they look okay. They they feel nice. <clears throat> so, Chrissy doesn't stand well because, well, small legs. But um, as you can see here, uh, you take a look, see at the store, there are a few plush that they have. The Luna one here, this this one is pretty impressive. I do like how this one looks. Only one picture, we don't, we don't see the face and whatnot, or the side of the face, but still. Um, would I say that should you get this? Um, I don't know. Um, if you're in the states and 
seven fifty is nothing much to you. Give it a shot. It's not bad. But if you think that it's a bit too pricey, uh, probably not. If you ask my opinion, um, pick one that you really want, like th- that that speaks to you. But be prepared to be disappointed if the quality is not up to par. Uh, these aren't the high-end pony plush maker type of uh, plush. These are um, mass-produced ponies that are serviceable. So, yep. They're there, they're cute, they're stuff, and they're there, they're all over the place. So let's move on to the next news, and... Aha! <laughs> Man, this one. The Living Tombstone's Discord Remix is 10 years old today, and by today it is the 21st of January 2022. <clears throat> at least in my time zone. <laughs> okay, at least my time zone, yes. Um, okay, anyway. Feeling old yet? It was probably one of the most iconic songs in the fandom in the early years and still managed to give sorry and still managed to go viral over in TikTok land even this many years later you can find okay um this is one of those songs where I listen to the original because um I'm kind of a I, I like uh Eurobeat music there's no surprise there. Um, I like the tune, and I listened to Eurobeat Bronies original mix, and it was pretty cool. It was really cool. Then when Tombstone got his hand on it, it became something else. And um, whenever there's a concert involving Tombstone and whatnot, the first thing in everybody's mouth is. Play Discord. Play Discord. <laughs> and and honestly, uh, this is one. This is one of the tracks that made um, Tombstone. Like they, it made him um, ping onto the interwebs map. Like without this song, uh, he will. He, people will know who he is. People will know. We've been time, but this is the song that kind of rocketed him out there and made him a what you call this household name in the Brony fandom. Like when you say um, "Living Tombstone," automatically you'll think of this song. Uh, granted that he has other songs in his uh, um, repertoire, but people will remember him for this. Man, this ten years ago. Wow, I am. Huh, I am feeling really, really old. <clears throat> but anywho, let's move on to the next and interesting news. IDW keep license. Sorry, IDW keeps license for My Little Pony, Ditches Transformers, and GI Joe. <clears throat> so this is interesting. The Hollywood Reporter has been giving information from IDW about their future work with Hasbro and producing more comics based on various brands they covered over the past 17 years. Apparently, at the end of this year, they will no longer be publishing G.I. Joe and Transformers. Fortunately, this confirms that they... Sorry, fortunately, this confirms that they will be sticking to ponies. Both My Little Pony and Dungeons and & Dragons will continue to be running through the IDW world. We don't yet know what it's in, uh, what is in store for Pony since the most recent soli- um, so, solicit? solicitus didn't include anything cartoon equine related, but at least we know they seem to be interested in continuing content probably once G5 gets going. So... <clears throat> Um, there's a few things that it's pretty interesting with this news. Uh, one of the few things is that okay, um, it shows that IDW is interested in licensing My Little Pony and D and D, and they see the potential in them. 
um, D&D, uh, sorry, <laughs> um, ponies, uh, I'm guessing that when they see the track record for ponies, it sells. I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure because I don't see their sales record. But personally for me, I do buy their books and I do um, enjoy uh, reading the pony comics. And I'm guessing for D&D, <clears throat> they have a huge world to play with. And uh, licensing the brand is kind of a smart move to do because, like I mentioned before, uh, D&D is huge. There's so many worlds. There's so many stories to continue on. I mean, there it, it's just fun and amazing. So, <sighs> ditching Transformers and G.I. Joe, I, I don't know. Maybe those two brands don't bring them much profit? But at the same time, dude, this is going to be very, very bad for the reprints for the My Little Pony crossover Transformers uh, comic books. Uh, it seems that, okay, um, with IDW having the rights to um, publish those brands, it's easy for them to do a crossover. But after this, after this year's end, they won't be able to do so because they don't have the license to do so anymore. Uh, probably we'll probably we will probably get some crossovers with uh, Milo Pony and D and D. Probably if they want to go that route, it'll be very interesting to see what they can write up with and um, with how things are going. It's going to be with season five. Sorry, generation five. But overall. It's a mixed bag. Um, I haven't read the Transformers comics, but they're kind of okay, I heard. Uh, Silver mentioned that he enjoys them. I'm I'm very curious with the uh, pff, Megatron Gone Good storyline. I, what happened? I, I am a big fan of evil bad guy turned good kind of story plot or storyline. But eh, I, I guess I have to read. Let's move on to the next news. And next news is new My Little Pony Pop Mart Series 2 figure announced. Cadence and new pose for the main six. Uh, it looks like the last series for Pop Mart figures were successful. Or sorry, were a success. A brand new set has been posted over on WeChat showing off their next round of figures. This one includes brand new poses for the main six plus Princess Cadence to go along with the Celestia of the previous release. Oh, they're smart. They're not going for Luna. <clears throat> According to the announcement, these guys will pop on on AliExpress just like the last one on the 28th of this month and be about $130 for all of them or $12 each. I'll get an update on the 28 once they're available to get. Okay. These are not bad. They look good. <sighs> yeah, I I remember talking about this one before. And I do remember that uh, there is a store in Malaysia that sells them. And this is cool. I Man, I wish I was able to buy the previous one. And this one is pretty cool. Um. When you take a look, see at what the ponies are sitting on. They're sitting on desserts. I got no idea what that is. But you see Fluttershy sitting on a macaroon. And Applejack sitting on a donut. Pinkie Pie is sitting on dessert. And you know what? Uh, ooh, very cream salad. Uh, cookie dessert uh, shelves. Oh um, man, I don't, I, I don't notice that one. Donut ice cream. Okay, so yeah, um, they're they're <laughs> they're there. There's names like uh, apple lollipop, and the theme for this set is desserts. That's pretty cool. Cinnamon black tea. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, coffee and sugar cube. Okay, yeah. These this are pretty cool. These are pretty cool. And, man, I wish I could get them all. That's, that's something cool. That would be something cool. And here's Cadence. Uh, do we get a name for Love Pudding? <laughs> oh, wow. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. $130. Oh, man. These are one of those figures that are pretty cool to have. They look nice. They look... I think they're... Sorry. I think they're official and they just look nice. And I think they're not that huge. So, yay. Um, something to consider to get if you want to. So, anyway, let's move on to the last news of the week. And last news is... Official My Little Pony, a new generation G5 soundtrack coming January 28th. Wow. Uh, they're coming in side by side with the figures. <clears throat> The My Little Pony, a new generation movie, is getting a much needed soundtrack. A new listing has popped up over, sorry, f um, pop up for it over on Amazon in, and in Canada, Barnes and Noble's exclusive apparently will be the place to pick up the physical form. We've had it available on streaming services for a while with all seven major songs listed here, but I know a bunch of you still collect CDs. And they are selling at $11. Yeah. <clears throat> so, let's see. Um, I personally have... Yeah, I personally listen to it on streaming. Um, streaming choice for me would be YouTube Music. I know it's not the greatest, but... Um, with the premium subscription, like I don't want to watch ads on YouTube, and I whenever I um turn off my not really turn off I'm um turn off the screen, the you know voices keep talking. So um that is what I'm interested in, and the YouTube music is just a bonus. <laughs> But still, I mentioned before, having it available on streaming is cool. But having a physical copy is better. Um, why? I think I mentioned before, I lost all of my brony music way back in uh, last year. I think about after or before my birthday. But yeah, I lost all of it. All 10 years of getting those music. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was not, it was the saddest day of my life. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. I wish I'd back it up. Remember, folks, back up your stuff or not, you get them deleted and whatnot. Uh, yes, um, physical great, yay. <laughs> So let's move on to, well, let's move on to the next topic. And the next topic is what have I been doing for my week. And for this one, it's pretty simple. I have, um, how do I put this? I've been doing nothing much. Like, um, played a bit of Magic Gathering at my local game store. Um, one of my D&D sessions are back, so that's cool. So I managed to play a bit of Dungeons & Dragons. And today, I managed, sorry, I, I went to a friend's wedding. Yay! Awesome on him. He got married today. We, um, ja, we, we ate and talked for a bit. And then yeah, that is about it. I mean, can't really say much about weddings, right? So yeah, w weddings are, yay, free food. <laughs> so um, besides that, uh, it was a really awesome time being there. Uh, getting to see him um, at his um, greatest moment or whatever it is. <coughs> so we'll just... Um, th that's about it. Like, I, I haven't really done anything significant. So, yeah. Um, that's what I've been doing for my week. Um, other than that, nothing much. Nothing much. So let's wrap things up. Let's wrap things up. So, if you have any questions, <laughs> questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at theambitiongmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. So, so's Twitter account is at the Show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. 
Also, please subscribe to us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio. And also, Pony... Um, <laughs> sorry, my bad. Uh, and also, Pony Live. Um, it's been a while. Uh, okay, so... And also, like, our Facebook page. And you also can catch us on PonyVilleLive.com. Uh, please do subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you can catch me talking about the ponies. Yes, pony ponies. Uh, we talk about pony comics, uh, cartoons, abstract episodes, comics, movies, specials. And sometimes we like to talk other things other than ponies. They can be cartoons, animes, movie, video game, or whatever in- Tickles are fancy. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Master of Lag, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo and I'll guys <laughs> and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the West Show. Uh I am stuck I am fumbling all my words. Anyway, bye bye.